We will return to the era of the Joseon dynasty in Korea and explore the life story of Queen Myeongsung, a queen who faced extraordinary struggles and met a tragic end due to her fight for the people in her country. Queen Myeongsung, also known as Queen Min, was born on October 19, 1851, in Yeoju County, Gyeonggi, Korea. She belonged to the Min clan, a noble family of the Joseon dynasty. The Min clan held political influence and power in the royal court. Unfortunately, Queen Myeongsung lost both of her parents at a very young age. This loss had a profound impact on her and shaped her character in the future. However, not much information is known about her mother, her childhood, or the causes of her parents' deaths. Losing both of her parents and experiencing a difficult childhood in poverty, Queen Myeongsung faced significant challenges in life. Nevertheless, she managed to overcome these obstacles and grew into an intelligent, strong, and ambitious woman. At the age of 15, Queen Myeongsung, also known as Queen Min, entered into a significant marriage with King Gojong, who was then the crown prince. Their wedding ceremony took place with grandeur at the Injungjen Hall, which was part of Changdeok Palace, one of the renowned palaces in Korea. This marriage was not only a major event in Queen Myeongsung's life but also a crucial moment for the kingdom and the Joseon dynasty as a whole. In the ceremony, Queen Myeongsung was officially crowned as queen and bestowed with a noble title, granting her immense status and authority. Their lavish and ceremonial wedding exemplified the importance of political alliances and family ties in the context of the royal court. As a queen, Queen Myeongsung had a significant role in influencing political policies, advocating for the people's interests, and fulfilling her responsibilities as King Gojong's partner. Queen Min was known for her ambitious and outspoken nature, which was quite different from previous queens. She did not participate in extravagant palace festivities, which she considered wasteful, and rarely requested luxurious clothing. She also avoided afternoon tea parties with princesses and other palace members, preferring to engage in political matters. As a queen, she was expected to behave according to the norms of the upper class, but she rejected such behavior. She preferred immersing herself in studying political books typically read by men, such as, The Chronicles of the Spring and Autumn Period, Zuo's Commentary, as well as various books on philosophy, history, science, politics, and religion. At the age of 20, she began to actively engage in politics, going in and out of her residence at Changdeong Palace. However, Queen Myeongsung's active political role did not always go smoothly, as it caused conflicts with Heng Sun Dae Wangan, her father-in-law. They often had significant differences in opinions on how to govern the kingdom, and these conflicts intensified over time. Their divergent views encompassed various aspects of political policies, foreign strategies, and the protection of the kingdom's sovereignty. Queen Myeongsung, who possessed a strong understanding of politics and national interests, often had different approaches compared to the more conservative and traditional Heng Sun Dae Wangan. She firmly believed that profound modernization and reforms were necessary to face the challenges of a changing era. The tension between Queen Myeongsung and Heng Sun Dae Wangan escalated over time, at a certain point, Queen Myeongsung made a drastic decision to exile Hang Sun Dae Wangan from the palace. This step, though controversial, was taken by Queen Myeongsung to reduce Hang Sun Dae Wangan's influence, which had the potential to hinder the reforms and modernization she sought to accomplish. The decision to exile Hang Sun Dae Wangan was not made lightly, as he was Queen Myeongsung's father-in-law and held an important position in the palace. However, Queen Myeongsung had a firm conviction in her vision to advance the kingdom and protect Korea's sovereignty, and she took this risk to maintain her power and independence. In the end, Queen Myeongsung's action of exiling Hang Sun Dae Wangan from the palace showcased her firmness and courage in confronting strong opposition for the sake of national interests and the changes she deemed important for the kingdom's progress. Although this move caused tensions in family and political relationships, Queen Myeongsung remained determined to fulfill her role as a brave and visionary leader. Queen Myeongsung had a strong political role in the palace and actively worked to defend Korea's sovereignty and freedom from Japanese influence. She was a determined Korean nationalist who fought against Japanese colonization. She sought to form alliances with foreign countries such as China and Russia to counter Japanese intervention in Korea. These efforts posed a threat to Japan's ambitions of controlling Korea and transforming it into a colony. 
She also played a vital role in organizing the Korean people's resistance against Japanese dominance. She helped mobilize the community to resist Japan's imposition of their culture, language, and political system on the Korean people. Many people greatly loved and appreciated her role and efforts in safeguarding Korea's sovereignty and resisting foreign interference, particularly from Japan. Queen Myeongsung was regarded as a symbol of resistance against imperialism and foreign oppression. She was seen as a courageous and steadfast leader who fought for the interests of her people and preserved Korea's cultural and national identity. However, some people disagreed with her policies as they considered her too progressive and a violator of important cultural traditions and values. Nevertheless, Queen Myeongsung remained steadfast in her belief that she was only fighting for the sake of her people and her country. Unfortunately, Queen Myeongsung's life ended in a horrific tragedy. On October 8, 1895, while in Gyeongbok Palace, she became a victim of assassination by Japanese secret agents who had successfully infiltrated the palace. Queen Myeongsung was killed by a group of Japanese secret agents who infiltrated the palace with the intention of eliminating her influence that hindered Japan's ambitions in Korea. At that time, Japan was taking steps to expand its influence in East Asia, including Korea. Queen Myeongsung, as a strong nationalist figure and leader of Korea, made determined efforts to resist Japanese intervention and protect the sovereignty of her country. This posed a threat to Japan's political and economic domination over Korea. Japanese aggression towards Korea escalated, and they saw Queen Myeongsung as the main obstacle. In an attempt to eradicate Queen Myeongsung's influence, Japan sent secret agents to Gyeongbok Palace. On the night of October 8, 1895, these agents successfully entered the palace and attacked Queen Myeongsung in her bedroom. Queen Myeongsung fought fiercely against the attackers, but unfortunately, she could not withstand the assault. She was stabbed with a sword by the Japanese agents and died on the spot. After the assassination, her body was also violated, mutilated, and burned in an attempt to erase any traces and disgrace the Korean royal family. The brutal murder of Queen Myeongsung illustrates the level of cruelty and brutality carried out by Japanese spies who sought to control Korea. The assassination of Queen Myeongsung was also intended to intimidate the Korean people and suppress their spirit of resistance. Japan wanted to demonstrate their power and cruelty to instill fear in the Korean people and prevent them from daring to oppose their colonization. News of Queen Myeongsung's assassination spread rapidly and sparked protests both inside and outside of Korea. International protests condemned this heinous act and demanded accountability from the Japanese government. The international community began to realize the detrimental and threatening presence of Japanese imperialism to a country's sovereignty. This event also accelerated the Korean nationalist movement and strengthened the spirit of resistance against Japanese oppression. In response to international condemnation, a former general named Miura Guro and some of his followers were accused and brought to trial in Hiroshima. However, in the end, the Japanese authorities released Miura Guro and his followers due to a lack of supporting evidence. After Queen Myeongsung's assassination, Korea fell into a period of Japanese colonialism that lasted for several decades. During this period, Korea experienced deep cultural, educational, political, and economic suppression as Japan sought to eradicate the identity and existence of Korea as a nation.